In this era of rising tide, my expectations are not high. As long as I have enough money, it's good, and my wife is beautiful and virtuous. I just want to continue farming. Create a paradise with your own hands. Keywords of the novel. 1983, starting from dividing land into households without pop-ups, 1983. Starting from dividing land into households with TXT Complete Collection Download, 1983. Starting from dividing land into households with the latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Foreign Households in the Village You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Foreign Households in the Village, Little One Don't you let go yet. Pop. Bring it to you. Lin Gaoxian slapped Wang Chang on the head and kicked him fiercely, knocking the young man in front of him to the ground and snatching the large fish basket from his hand. What a big squid. It weighs at least 10 pounds, right? I'm getting rich now. Lin Gaoxian didn't even glance at the unconscious young man on the ground, and smiled brightly. He is a famous troublemaker in Jiangbei village, not only acting recklessly in the village, but also often hanging out with some fox friends in the county town. He is very clear about the purchase price of this big squid. Not to mention other big fish, this kind of big squid is very valuable. It can be sold for at least 1.2 yuan per kilogram. This big squid weighs over 10 pounds, which is about 20 yuan. These days, the workers in the city who hold iron rice bowls earn only 20.30 yuan a month. Lin Gaoxian's claim that he has become wealthy is also a true statement, not a boast. He had a smile on his face, picking at the big fish's cheek with one hand and throwing away the fish basket with the other. He turned around contentedly, carrying the big fish, and walked towards home with steps that his six relatives did not recognize. He needs to hurry home and then go to the city to sell this big squid. Otherwise, when the fish is dead and not fresh, it will be a big loss. At that time, there will be thoughts of hanging. As for the boy who fell unconscious on the ground behind him, even if he died, it was not a problem. A migrant without a father or mother, even if it's him or any other villager in the village, there won't be anyone going to investigate. If there's no big deal, show some kindness and carry him to the mountain to bury him. In recent years, there have been many people who died unexpectedly, and it's normal for this one to be missing. Cough. I am. In the chaos, Wang Chang woke up somewhat confused, sat up, coughed up a mouthful of blood phlegm, shook his head, and looked around. This brief coma inexplicably added memories of the next few decades to his mind, which was outrageous. These decades of life experiences are unforgettable, and every bit of them is still vividly remembered after a while, Wang Chang, who had fused his vast memory, finally adapted. That miraculous memory comes from a very similar parallel world, Earth, and another self. The trajectories of the two worlds are basically identical, with the only significant difference being that there are significant differences in the passage of time over time. For a moment, his face fell silent. For a long time, he stood up and looked around at the familiar environment. It's very normal for him to have the big squid he finally got snatched today. He won't cry, let alone shed tears. Wang Chang's parents were the first batch of educated youth who went to the countryside, and later settled in Jiangbei village. Therefore, his family became the only outsider in the village. Since three years ago, my father fell seriously ill and died, and then my mother quickly passed away in depression. At that time, he was only 12 years old and had three younger sisters who were less than 10 years old. The four siblings were crying with their liver and gallbladder splitting, dying and looking around in confusion. However, there were no relatives or inquiries from the four siblings in the village, and due to the fact that their family was an outsider, no one came to help or inquire. The four young siblings had no hope. In the end, they wrapped their mother's body in a straw mat at home and tried their best to pull it to the side of their father's tomb on the back mountain. They dug a pit and hastily buried their mother. Since then, Wang Chang will never shed tears again. Because his tears have already dried up. 
Although he is only 15 years old this year, after his parents passed away, he shouldered the heavy burden of life alone, pulling his three younger sisters to grow up, and the hardships during this period can be imagined. Ha! Huh. Wang Chang suddenly remembered something, my injury has healed, and my whole body is full of strength. At this moment, he realized his mistake. He knew that he had been beaten and beaten by the big thug Lin Gaoxian in the village, and his hand had been cut open by the big fish basket. Now, besides being covered in blood stains, even the big cut on my hand is gone. Where did that jade ring go? Wang Chang quickly raised his right hand, looked closely in confusion, and then searched around, but found nothing. That jade ring finger was found in the nest of that big squid, looking crystal clear and beautiful. He didn't originally plan to use it to sell money, he just wanted to take it home and keep it as a souvenir. When he was beaten by Lin Gaoxian, he held the jade ring tightly in his palm, but now it mysteriously disappeared. When did I have a strange mark on my right index finger? After looking around again, Wang Chang finally noticed the clues and said, Can you say? With decades of memories from later generations, it was an era of various imaginations, and Wang Chang is not a young man without much knowledge now. From the perspective of knowledge alone, it is enough to crush the current era. Also, the magical scene I encountered today can only be achieved with a golden finger. Without the protection of golden fingers, how can the future soul memories that suddenly merge into one's mind withstand the crushing force of time and space? It's already gray. So, regardless of the way of reincarnation, it is normal and reasonable for the protagonist to have golden fingers. Otherwise, it's just daydreaming and daydreaming. After a while of exploration, he temporarily couldn't figure out the purpose of this golden finger, so he ignored it and put his doubts aside. In the current situation, hurry back to the river and clean the stains and blood stains on your body before proceeding. Otherwise, going home will definitely scare the three sisters. Wang Chang hurriedly turned around and strode towards the nearby banks of the Chajiang River. He was not far from the river originally, but after a while, he arrived at the small river and jumped into the water with a fierce thrust, starting to clean his body and clothes. His water ability is excellent. It is not an exaggeration to say that among these ten miles and eight townships, his water quality ranks second, and no one dares to say he is first. This is certainly because he has talent, but more importantly, he has acquired it through training. During the three years since the death of his parents, Wang Chang and his four siblings relied solely on Wang Chang fishing in the river ditch and digging for various wild vegetables in the wild to survive. After the death of their parents, due to various reasons such as the young age of their four siblings, they did not receive the same share of collective work as the four siblings. Without job positions, there will naturally be no distribution of various daily necessities. So over the past three years, in order to survive, going to rivers and ditches to fish and dig up various wild vegetables has become Wang Chang's main job. Fortunately, nowadays, there is no large dot-scale use of pesticides and hormones for cultivation and aquaculture in rural areas, and industrial pollution has not yet officially begun. There are a large number of fish such as fish and shrimp in the water. In addition, in a collectivist society with many rules, few people can find time to fish and improve their lives. This makes Wang Chang like a fish in water, and every time he goes out, he gains a lot. After a while, Wang Chang cleaned his body and clothes, went to the shore, found a hidden place, and twisted his clothes and clothes half dry. Fortunately, it is late autumn now, and Jiangbei village is located in the south. The wind by the river is not small, and soon, my clothes and pants will be completely dry. Being robbed of a big squid doesn't make Wang Chang feel discouraged. He walked to a nearby river and pulled out a thick and long rope buried on the beach. One end of the hemp rope goes deep into the river, and the other end is tied to the root of a large willow tree. He pulled hard towards the shore, and soon, with the retrieval of the hemp rope, a large circular fish cage nearly two meters long and half a meter wide arrived at the shore. Wang Chang dragged the large fish cage ashore and saw dozens of fish, 
big and small, inside. Christian carp, carp, grass carp, and other fish are all present, with various types of fish jumping around in them. He first fished out the small fish and threw them back into the river one by one, leaving only seven or eight big fish behind. He understood the principle of fishing with all his might early on. Focusing on the big and letting go of the small is for the sustained harvest in the future, and it is also the biggest reason why he has been fully harvested in this river channel for the past three years. Get some merit points. Get beginner throwing proficiency. At this moment, a message suddenly appeared in Wang Chang's mind, and he was immediately stunned. Subsequently, his body underwent some changes, his muscles increased throughout, and he felt his hands becoming very flexible. Various throwing techniques, as if innate, became his instinct. Within 10 meters, where do you point and where do you hit? Wang Chang inexplicably knew the scope of use of this skill. So, my own golden finger looks like this. In addition to being shocked, he had a burst of excitement and suppressed it forcefully. He checked the information that suddenly came to his mind. Merit value can be used to strengthen skills and all objects that belong to me. The higher the level of enhancement, the more merit value is needed, and it still increases exponentially. This. While feeling happy, Wang Chang felt a little worried. Just strengthening this basic skill to an intermediate level requires 10 points of merit, um. He is not the kind of person who is greedy and greedy, let alone considering the current situation, his golden finger is not bad. He is very satisfied. However, this way of obtaining merit points is too simple, and there must be some kind of limitation in it to be reasonable. But now is not the time to carefully explore the golden finger, which seems to be a very rigid spiritual treasure, unable to communicate. It's not too late to explore again when you have time in the future. After a moment of joy in his heart, he suddenly came to his senses and said, Oh no. We need to go home quickly, my sister and they must be anxious. Thinking of this, he set aside his distractions and quickly took action again. He reached into the big fish cage and took out two big fish weighing three or four pounds. He used a grass rope on the side to thread it through his cheeks and hung it on a nearby branch. He stuffed a few pieces of fish grass into the fish cage and threw it forcefully into the river. Watching the big fish cage sink slowly into the river, he exclaimed with some surprise, sure enough, with more than twice the strength, I easily threw such a big fish cage so far. Isn't it? In the past, he struggled to throw the fish cage four or five meters away, but today he managed to throw it seven or eight meters away effortlessly. This is enough to prove that his strength has skyrocketed now. Well, go home. Wang Chang buried the hemp rope again, checked it again, turned around and came to the willow tree where two big fish were hanging. He took the fish down and quickly left the riverbank, looking at the direction of the small house in the distance, and took big strides. It took less than ten minutes for several dilapidated adobe thatched houses to appear in front of me. The wooden door of the courtyard was open, and a twelve-year-old and two ten-year-old twin named Loli, with a big yellow dog, squatted at the door. They were staring into the distance, their expressions filled with anxiety. Brother. Brother is back. Big brother. How did you come back? Seeing Wang Chang's figure coming from far to near, the three little girls cheered together and rushed forward to meet him. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Sisters Worries, Seeking Recommendation and Monthly Pass Collection, You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 2 Sisters Worries, Seeking Recommendation and Monthly Pass Collection, Wang Chang's family is located at the end of the first team in Jiangbei village with a single household and about a mile away from the nearest household of villagers. Jiangbei village is a super large village with a total of four brigades. Jiangbei village is located in the east and south of Chaqing County, adjacent to the urban area and distributed on both sides of the Chajiang River. Jiangbei village has already cultivated two to three hundred thousand acres of land, and the uncultivated wasteland also covers a similar area, with dozens of mountains of various sizes. 
The entire Jiangbei village has over 3,000 households and nearly 20,000 people, which is close to the urban population size of the small county town of T City today. However, the entire Chaqing County, also known as this super village that has been passed down for nearly a thousand years, is the largest. Nearby villages, such as Yenyan Village, Bema Village, Shiha Village, etc., do not even have one tenth of the size of Jiangbei Village. It almost occupies more than 60% of the land on both sides of the Chajiang River near the county seat. The fundamental reason why Wang Chang's family is built alone on the high ground at the end of the village is that they are outsiders and are not favored by the villagers. More than 90% of the villagers in Jiangbei village are basically related and extremely exclusive. Therefore, after getting married in a low dot key manner, my parents no longer want to be looked down upon by some villagers every day, so they deliberately moved from the village to settle down here. Since it is not favored by everyone, then it is difficult to see and avoid. As the intellectuals with the highest cultural level in the village, parents not only had a strong sense of influence, but also had the self. Esteem of cultural figures at that time. Brother, it's almost past noon. You haven't been back until now, so you won't encounter any trouble, will you? Siblings and siblings playfully walked into the small courtyard, and Dia Wan Jun looked up and asked. Yeah, we're all worried to death. Big brother, did those big bastards in the village bully you again? Wan Yu and Wan Ling, the twin girls, also stopped with a worried expression and looked at Wang Chang, asking. What is the situation with oneself in the village? The three precocious maids are all very clear. Over the past three years, there have been numerous hardships, and fortunately, they have all survived. Although the big brother didn't say it, all three little girls knew that he would be robbed of fish by the villagers several times a month. If it is an ordinary worthless fish, Wang Chang will not resist and will honestly turn it in. But if those valuable fish, due to reluctance in his heart, Wang Chang naturally did not want to hand them over, and the consequence would be to be beaten up and then snatched away without exception. The village is in chaos now. The three sisters have to go out to dig wild vegetables together and bring their own rhubarb dogs. It was precisely because the whole family was careful that they stubbornly survived. It's okay. Wan Chang pretended to be indifferent and closed the gate, laughing, Have you cooked the fish soup and rice porridge yet? Two years ago, with three meals a day, all three sisters learned how to cook and their cooking skills improved, so there was no need for Wang Chang to worry. It is most appropriate for poor children to take charge early on. It's already done. Just wait for you, big brother, to come back and eat. The twins, Wan Yu and Wan Ling, immediately shouted in unison, second sister said to wait for you to come back and release wild vegetables, and you can eat them right away. As she spoke, the two little girls jumped and rushed into the kitchen, getting busy. Wan Chang and Wan Jun both shook their heads, smiled at each other, and followed into the kitchen. As soon as she entered the kitchen, she saw Wan Yu lift the lid of the large cauldron pot on the earthen stove and place it on the nearby stove. With one hand, she picked up the tea tree stick and pounded it against the several fish of various sizes that had already been fully cooked in the pot, not light or heavy. Until all the fish meat was mashed and mixed into the fish soup, she put down the tea stick and held a ladder dot shaped bamboo sieve, quickly removing almost all the fish bones and bones from the pot and setting them aside. She then thought of picking up the cauldron. Wan Yu, give me the rest. Upon seeing this, Wan Jun quickly spoke loudly to Wan Yu. This cast iron cauldron is very big, and the fish soup inside is boiling hot. Wan Yu is only ten years old, and her strength is too weak, making it easy to get injured. How many times have you told me, you girl? Don't act rashly, why don't you have a long memory? As she loudly scolded, she quickly stepped forward, picked up a large cauldron with both hands, and walked to the dining table in the middle of the kitchen, preparing to pour out the boiling fish soup from the pot into a porcelain basin placed on the table. In that porcelain bowl, Wanling just put some washed and cut wild onions, ginger, and salt into it. Standing at the table, 
Wanling quickly brought a larger ladle dot shaped fine bamboo sieve and placed it on top of the porcelain basin. This is to separate the last fish bones from the fish soup. Until Wan Jun flipped the cauldron upside down and poured all the fish soup into the porcelain bowl. She carried the large cauldron to the side of the water tank, washed it clean with water, and brought it back. She poured the extremely rich fish soup from the porcelain bowl into the cauldron again, and put it on the stove to boil. Next, Wan Jun put a large bamboo basket of washed wild vegetables placed aside into the pot, brought a large soup ladle, and rolled the wild vegetables in the pot for a while. After putting down the soup ladle, she brought a bamboo sieve and scooped up the wild vegetables on a large plate next to it. The two maids, Wan Yu and Wan Ling, who had already been prepared, one brought the dishes to a large wooden table, while the other brought five large bowls and watched as her sister Wan Jun scooped out the fish soup with a soup spoon and evenly distributed it among the bowls. When several younger sisters came to the table with fish soup, Wang Chang took another large pot of rice porridge to the side of the big wooden table, took a bowl of rice porridge aside, and scooped a bowl of rice porridge for himself and the three younger sisters. As for why do we have rice at home? Over the past three years, Wang Chang has quietly taken the big fish he touched to the city to sell, and then bought back some food and daily necessities. Let's eat now. Mmm hmm. Our fish soup is really delicious. Two twin girls sat down at the table cheerfully, their eyes bright, waiting for their eldest brother and second sister to serve. This cooking method was invented by young Wang Chang three years ago, and it was a helpless choice. Eating fish every meal was a great danger for the young four siblings at that time. Not to mention the distance, let's take Jiangbei village as an example. Over the years, people have been stuck to death by fish bones every year. And for the current situation of their family, they don't want to starve to death, only have the option of eating fish. Once the fish bones get stuck in their throats, the four siblings will definitely not have the money to go to the hospital for surgical treatment. Helpless, Wang Chang thought and thought, and finally, after making a choice, invented this safe method of eating fish. This way of eating, although fish and meat are not chewy, is superior to safety and rich nutrition. There are five big bowls of fish soup, one of which is naturally reserved for the hard-working yellow dog. However, the fish soup is too hot now and needs to be cooled down before it can be given to the rhubarb dog. Of course, the fish bones and organs are also its own. Ten minutes later, the four brothers and sisters ate half pot of rice porridge with fish soup and a large plate of wild vegetables. Due to the lack of oil and water, people can eat very well this year, and their appetite is at least twice that of people in 30 or 40 years. Brother and sister Wang Chang, now is the time to grow their bodies. Half-grown boys and poor old men are the epitome of this era. Eat and drink enough, everyone sit and rest. Brother. Daya Wanjun thought of something and looked at Wang Chang with a worried expression. Today, the village's loudspeakers are broadcasting, and our village will start responding to the government's call tomorrow to distribute land to households, she said she looked a bit panicked, paused for a moment, and then said, I don't know if our family has a share. If we divide the land, where will it go? Daya Wanjun is actually the most unfortunate one in the family, who has suffered too much in recent years. Her parents, like Wang Chang's parents, are educated youth from other provinces. When the trend of educated youth returning to the city arrived, her father quietly abandoned his wife and children and left alone, with no news. Her mother couldn't bear the blow. One morning, she brought Wang Jun to Wang Chang's house and asked his mother to help take care of her daughter for a day. She went to the city to do something. As a result, in the evening, the body was found by the river, and Wang Jun's mother jumped into the river and committed suicide. Daya was originally not named Wang Jun, nor did she have the surname Wang. After being adopted by Wang Chang's parents, she changed her name to Wang Wang Jun in order to promote her healthy growth and reduce the shadow of her childhood, to show that her family treated her equally. Do we divide the land into households? With memories of the next 40 years, Wang Chang knew this big event like the back of his hand. 
this is a good thing, and our family's good days are coming soon, he said he had a clear idea that apart from some remote mountainous areas similar to the T-City, the policy of dividing farmland into households had been in place since 1978. Now, the spring breeze of reform has finally arrived at the T-City this year. He comforted Wan Jun and said, don't worry, the old village chief has strong principles, and he also values face. He won't exclude our family. Today, while obtaining the golden finger, he fused all the memories of another self from the parallel world of Earth. Because the development trajectories of the two worlds are almost identical, with only a 40-year difference in the passage of time. So, Wan Chang's mind now has more memories of his 40 years of life from 1983 to 2023, vividly remembered. If he didn't get the golden finger, the memory of another parallel world, Earth, and his own 40 years of life experience would be his future life template in this world. However, now that I have obtained a magical golden finger, the fused memories of my life for the next 40 years are destined to be changed beyond recognition. After all, the Earth itself in another parallel world did not receive the golden finger today. In the memory of future generations, Jiangbei village will officially distribute land to households tomorrow, ending the big pot meal. It is not only the household with the most land allocated, but also the one with the most land allocated. As for the reason, of course, it is the already cultivated fields in the village that our family does not have a share in, and all the land allocated is wasteland. This is a decision made by the village chief with good face, together with the village committee, to demonstrate his selflessness. This decision will naturally satisfy everyone at tomorrow's village meeting. Jiangbei village, which has been passed down for nearly a thousand years, has never encountered a disaster of destruction. The village has developed rapidly, occupying a large number of fields, mountains, and forests. Each person's head is 10 acres of cultivated land. But Wang Chang's family of four, who were only allocated to the wasteland, were given the 80 acres of wasteland where his family was located at the end of the village. Each person had a total of 20 acres, and all of this desolate area was allocated to his family. Of course, there is also the entire mountain behind his family, known as Daju Mountain, which was distributed to the Wang Chang family as compensation for the village, making his family the largest family in Jiangbei village in terms of mountains, forests, and fields in the future. In the short term, due to the limited perspective of the villagers and the current situation, no one believes that Wang Chang's family has gained benefits, but instead everyone shouts for fairness. It was not until the 21st century that the Wang Chang family, who occupied vast fields and forests, attracted the envy of many villagers. After all, the current wasteland and barren mountains are not worth money, and the wave of land reclamation has not yet arrived, which is not worth paying attention to. People believe that they are a place where birds don't poop, and there are no economic benefits. Therefore, Wang Chang, who has a vision for the next 40 years, is naturally satisfied. The new book has been released, and we request the support of all book enthusiasts. Thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Good Days Coming Soon You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Good Days Coming Soon, Hey! Wan Jun is not as visionary as Wang Chang, and she still has some worries in her heart. She sighed and said, I know it's useless to think too much. I hope what you said, brother, is good. She is smart and knows that no matter how much she thinks now, it will be of no use. Anyway, the decision dot making power lies in the hands of the village chief and the village committee, so let it be. I'm going to wash the dishes, and I'll have to supervise my sister's homework later. She murmured and got up to get busy. Since the death of both parents three years ago, Wang Chang, who was in fifth grade, and Wan Jun, who was in second grade, had no choice but to drop out of school and stay at home. There is no other choice but to do so in order to survive. I can't even eat anymore, where can I continue reading? However, both Wang Chang and Wan Jun's parents were intellectuals. When they went to the countryside, they brought some books with them, and with the textbooks Wang Chang received during school, self.study at home was still feasible. 
the four siblings all have a natural talent for reading. In addition to work, Wang Chan supervises the three sisters to read and write for no less than an hour every day. Although neither of their siblings goes to school now, the knowledge they learn is no worse than any other child of the same age in the village. It's not that Wang Chang is bragging. If all the elementary school students in the village had a test competition, Wang Chang's four siblings could beat them up. Whether or not to go to school, compared to the children in the village, the four siblings also have a lot of culture to learn. In Wang Chang's memory of 40 years of later life, their four siblings never went to school again. But looking back with a future perspective, even if I don't go to school in this lifetime, it's not a big deal. There are too many opportunities in the future, and for a reborn person, making money should not be too easy. Without a diploma, it's nothing. Anyway, it's impossible to work again in this lifetime. Having a golden finger and helping others with work is not just a mental disability but also an idiot. I am not that foolish. Isn't it fragrant to be your own boss? I don't need to waste time and energy going to school, but my three sisters have to go to school to study. However, we have to wait until our families settle down before finding a way to send them to school and pursue their own life path. After all, they will marry in the future, and it is impossible for them to choose their future life path on their own. In today's golden age, if they want to live a wonderful life, going to college is undoubtedly the best shortcut. After a moment of wild thought, Wang Chang stood up and came to the small courtyard. Two twin sisters, feeding dogs with a satisfied smile on their faces. The rhubarb dog eats very well, and it's hard to tell that it's a local dog the same age as Wang Chang, who is 15 years old. The earth dog is an animal that is easy to raise. As long as it is not accidentally killed or poisoned by humans, there are not many old dogs in the countryside who have lived for 15 or 16 years, but they are not particularly rare. Wang Chang's big yellow dog is very big, weighing 60.70 pounds, and its fur is very clean all over. This is because the three sisters take good care of it and help it take a shower every two days. It is very sensible and never goes out to play alone, wholeheartedly guarding Wang Chang's four siblings and this warm little home. It's not an exaggeration to say that if it weren't for this very smart and sensible big yellow dog guarding them in the past three years, Wang Chang and his four siblings would have had an accident long ago, and the fate would have been so tragic. The villagers, big and small, dare not come to their homes to cause trouble because they have mostly suffered from the losses of the big yellow dog. They rack their brains to no avail, resorting to methods such as medication, abduction, etc., but all failed. This big yellow dog named Asai has never eaten food given by others for the past three years, nor has he ever let the three little girls leave him too far away. The villagers all say that this guy may have become a sperm. With his two sisters feeding the dog, Wang Chang picked up a sturdy and sharp old hoe and went to the vegetable field in the small courtyard to weed and loosen the soil. The farm tools at home may seem old, but they have been taken excellent care of by Wang Chang, often polished and well-maintained. Their house may seem dilapidated, but it is very clean and everything appears to be in good order. Due to various reasons, the vegetable field in the yard is not large, only about a piece of land, but the various vegetables planted on it are growing well. It's not that Wang Chang doesn't want to expand, nor is it because he lacks strength and ability, but because of the limitations of the times, he never dared to engage in large dot scale breeding and planting in the past. Otherwise, once someone reports it, everything is over. He may not care about himself, but he must consider a few younger sisters. This is also the reason why he used to be bullied by the big and small thugs in the village, but dared not seek revenge and resist. I'm afraid I'll completely provoke these guys, and then vent my anger on my three sisters. At that time, it will undoubtedly be a case of fish dying in the net being broken, with no room for any easing. For Wang Chang, his three sisters are his destiny. Taking good care of them is the desire and motivation he has been able to persevere through these three years. Even if it's hard and tiring for oneself, 
we must take care of our younger sisters, let them grow up safely, and fulfill our elder brother's responsibilities. But Wang Chang knew that the Tea City, a small county town, would rapidly undergo earth-shattering changes starting from the distribution of fields to households in each village tomorrow. In the future, holding on to the courage and starving to the timidity will no longer be empty words. Not many weeds will be cleaned up by Wang Chang soon. He put down his hoe, washed his hands, and went to the small pond in the courtyard to observe the growth of loaches and eels in the pond. This small pool was specially excavated by him three years ago, with the purpose of storing food for his family. In fact, with his skilled fishing skills, he couldn't finish all the various fish he usually caught. Among these fish species, loaches, eels, and octopus are the best to feed and are not idot catching, so they won't make people envious. In this small pond, which is less than 10 square meters in size, over time, the loaches, eels, and wanba that have been released are enough for a family to eat for more than a month or two. However, due to the thick silt and some weeds covering it, it is impossible to see it from the outside. These three types of fish have extremely strong vitality and spend most of their time in thick mud, so there is no need to worry about them dying from hypoxia. The small pond is also connected to a nearby stream flowing down from the mountain, ensuring the cleanliness of the water quality at all times. In addition, the water surface of the small pond is covered by thick weeds, so there is no need to worry about the fish inside being killed by heat or freezing. When it was inconvenient to go out and fish, Wang Chang and his family relied on the fish in this small pond and the small vegetable field nearby to solve the food problem. Upon careful examination, Wang Chang did not find any dead fish that had turned white. He felt relieved. He turned to Wang Jun, who had just cleaned up the kitchen and came out to ask his sister to read and write, and said, Daya, I'll go rest for a while. You take your sister and them, don't let them slack off, focus on their studies. Well, brother, I'll save it, Wan Jun nodded and agreed. In fact, after three years of self-learning habits, the three sisters are very conscious and do not need Wang Chang to supervise their reading and writing. Today's encounter was too bizarre, and Wang Chang found it difficult to calm down amidst his joy, which is normal. In this way, it is necessary to calm your mood through sleep. Carrying the heavy burden of survival for a family of four on his shoulders, Wang Chang told himself that he must always maintain a calm mindset. If it weren't for worrying about his three younger sisters and not being able to survive safely after leaving him, he would have gone and killed those who had ill intentions towards his own family. However, he had to constantly tell himself that he could never have any trouble. Otherwise, the whole family will truly be finished. There are four adobe thatched houses in his family. The largest one is a main house with a kitchen, the other is a thatched house with a bathroom, and the other two are for Wang Chang and his three sisters. Wang Chang walked into his small house and saw a quaint bookshelf with dozens of various books on it. This mahogany bookshelf was handmade by his father after spending a lot of time, and it is also the most valuable furniture in his family now. It looks very old, but it is very sturdy. This room used to be where my parents lived. After my parents passed away, all three sisters grew up and he moved in. Next to the bookshelf is a wooden bed, which is also very old and sturdy. It is also handmade by my father, and there is a bamboo mat laid on it. On the bamboo mat is an old cotton quilt and a bamboo pillow. My father is not only an intellectual, but also a skilled carpenter. There are many wooden and bamboo items at home that he personally made. The whole house is tidy up very well. When the three sisters have nothing to do, they clean the whole family every day and even arrange various things neatly. Wang Chang, who was somewhat troubled, sat down by the bed, hesitated for a moment, took off his shoes, and lay flat on the bed motionless. After a while, he fell into a deep sleep. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Bringing Back Capital and Profit You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Bringing Back Capital and Profit, Brother, Get Up for Dinner In a daze, a soft cry came from outside the door, 
waking Wang Chang up. Here we go. Sitting up and regaining his senses, Wang Chang replied. He got out of bed and put on a pair of half-noon old-release shoes on the ground before going to bed, walking towards the door. In a moment, he arrived at the well in the courtyard, washed his face with water, and rinsed his mouth with clean water. Looking up at the sky, I realized it was already evening. It's so easy to sleep. I took such a long nap in the afternoon. Wang Chang also didn't expect that he had never taken such a long nap before. I guess it's because I got the golden finger, had hope for the future, and relaxed my mind, that's why I slept so soundly. After all, he had lived too hard and too tired before. Different attitudes lead to different spiritual feelings. After washing up, he turned around and walked into the kitchen, where the oil lamp had already been lit. Under the dim light, a dinner table almost identical to that at noon has been placed neatly. The only difference is that there is an extra plate of stir-fried garlic with chili peppers. Garlic and chili peppers are grown in the small vegetable garden at home. As winter approaches, they are all harvested and dried to hang on the edge of the stove. This is convenient for storage and easy access at any time. Garlic has a strong bactericidal ability and can kill the vast majority of harmful bacteria in the human body. Chili peppers and ginger are good seasonings and are the most commonly grown vegetables in vegetable fields. For no other reason, their family can't get sick at all, so it's necessary to eat some garlic and ginger regularly. Ginger is also a highly valuable medicinal side dish, which has good therapeutic effects on many common diseases. For example, toothache can be very painful. This is a disease that even hospitals have no way to deal with, and injections and medication are basically useless. Severe toothache, doctors may recommend extracting teeth or puncturing dental pulp for treatment. However, as long as you cut a piece of old ginger and bite it in the area of toothache before going to bed, and wake up the next day, you will basically recover. This is the first-hand experience of Wang Chang's family, simple and effective, safe and harmless. In the past three years, none of the four siblings have been sick, and there have been many other illnesses that have been treated through simple methods such as drinking garlic ginger sugar water. Of course, there are also reasons why they have good resistance, strong recovery ability when young, and are very particular about hygiene. Brother, come on, we're waiting for you. Wan Yu, who was very mischievous, was already eagerly waiting for the banquet to begin. When she saw her brother come in, she exclaimed. All right, everyone, eat while it's hot. Wang Chang walked over to the dining table, sat down on the bench, reached out and rubbed the head of the little girl next to him. With some indulgence, he said, let's eat it. When the fish soup cools down, it won't taste good anymore. The other households in the village have two meals a day, only Wang Chang's family has three meals a day. This is also a decision made by Wang Chang, who rarely has dry food to eat at home. Three years ago, he made up his mind to not let his three sisters go hungry, as he had shouldered the heavy burden of life for his family alone. He truly lived up to his promises. That's exactly why the three girls are looking very good and in good health, stronger than most of the children in the village. A dinner ended in just over ten minutes, and everyone was satisfied with it. After sitting and resting for about ten minutes, everyone worked together to clean up the kitchen. They all carried small benches to the small courtyard and sat down to chat, truly becoming idle. Wang Chang does not allow three girls to read or write at night. There is no electric light at home, and the lighting is not good, which can cause too much damage to the eyes. Plus, the danger at night is not small nowadays, and people don't go out to play. So, sitting in the courtyard counting stars on a sunny day is one of the few choices. It's simple, but very warm. The big yellow dog also joined in the fun, lying between the two twin girls, allowing them to use their little hands to follow their fur, so contentedly that even a pair of dog eyes furrowed. The two girls often do this, and they don't mind it. Their small faces are full of smiles, and their satisfaction is evident. Brother, I'm still a bit worried. 
Wang Jun obediently sat next to Wang Chang and said leisurely. Daya, don't think so much, you'll know tomorrow. Wang Chang knew what the girl was worried about and comforted her softly. He cannot tell the other party that he is well aware of tomorrow's situation. The experience at noon today is too bizarre for anyone to believe. Moreover, the reason why a secret is a secret is that the fewer people know, the better. It is best to know it yourself, as that is the best. Regarding the matter of the golden finger, he plans to never let others know for the rest of his life, in order to avoid endless troubles. Protecting one's own secrets is the best way to protect loved ones. Brother, what do you plan to do when the fields are allocated tomorrow? Wan Jun, after all, is still young, and soon she was imagining and asking. How to do it? After pondering for a moment, Wang Chang said, I plan to make use of all my fields, mountains, and forests, so that my family will no longer have to worry about food and drink in the future. He, whose vision has become incredibly broad, certainly will not follow the old path in his memory. He has his own plans. After all, in my memory, I did not obtain a golden finger, but rather an ordinary person. Now that I have a magical golden finger, I will naturally not let my family and myself live so hard in the future. Hmm. After pondering for a while, he confidently said, I want to raise chickens, ducks, and geese in my own fields, mountains, and forests, as well as build a pig farm. Of course, I also need to raise more local dogs to protect my future home. I also need to cultivate several large vegetable fields and orchards, plant various vegetables and fruit trees, and eat whatever I want in the future. When we have money, our family will build a big house as soon as possible. It's not the houses we see in the village now, but a truly beautiful and comfortable big house. Also, I need to. He rambled on and on for a long time, but suddenly realized that he had become silent around him for some unknown time. Looking back, I realized that the three little girls were all staring at me with sparkling eyes. Among the three beautiful big eyes, they were full of longing in a look of confusion, each one seeming foolish time passes unnoticed, and the night is already deep. It's getting late, you three should go back to your room and sleep. I'll go to the river to see those big fish cages. Wang Chang said to his sisters who were already yawning. Good, hmm. We are very obedient. The three maids were always very convinced of their brother's words. Upon hearing the words, they obediently stood up, moved the small stool back to the kitchen, put it away, and then entered the room of the three of them, closed the door, and prepared to sleep. Watching his sisters return to their room to sleep, Wang Chang touched the big head of the big yellow dog with one hand and said, A sigh, I'll go out for a while. You must guard your home. After speaking, he quickly walked out of the small courtyard, closed the door, and looked up at the path leading to the county town in the village, his eyes suddenly becoming cold. Dog thing. A gentleman seeks revenge all day long. Wang Chang muttered fiercely and walked briskly. The night now looks very late, but in fact, it's around nine o'clock at night. Lin Gaoxian snatched his big squid and of course will go to the county town to sell it this afternoon, and then eat, drink, and have fun in the county town. Wang Chang is very familiar with these big thugs in the village. He used to endure without much ability, but now with a magical skill, he can no longer hold back. The anger in my heart is about to explode. God knows how much humiliation he has endured over the past three years, enduring humiliation and humiliation. In the past three years, there hasn't been a single month during this period, and his body is intact, causing the three sisters to shed countless tears. Of course, in order to avoid future troubles, even if he goes for revenge tonight, he will quietly come. For a word in later memories. Old Ian Bai, he deeply believed it. In today's rule of law society, it is not possible to do so openly, as it will bring endless troubles and easily lead oneself into the ditch. And now with a magical skill, his mind twitched slightly and he made his own action plan. In the dark, unnoticed by gods and ghosts, 
one can give those dog things an incredibly profound lesson. There is a saying that goes. The best way to solve problems is to solve the source of manufacturing problems. Once and for all. Of course, he wouldn't do anything about murder, as it would easily attract the attention of the government and create too much trouble and impact, which is not advisable. He also doesn't want to take a back seat and play house games with enemies endlessly, back and forth. Once done, it's the best choice. In the memory of forty years and later generations, without a golden finger, he was knocked unconscious by Lin Gaoxian this afternoon, leaving behind a significant illness. He could not do too much physical work in the future, so he left behind many regrets. Tonight, he will bring back the capital with interest. End of this chapter Chapter 5 The Joy of Dividing Fields into Households, Seeking Recommendation and Collection, You Are Listening at NovelFull.Audio Chapter 5 The Joy of Dividing Fields into Households, Seeking Recommendation and Collection, Lin Gaoxian and Lin Junxian, brothers, are very happy today. They arrived at the farmer's market in the county town around 2 o'clock in the afternoon and sold their big squid for 19 yuan. Suddenly receiving a huge sum of money, with their habits, they naturally want to enjoy it well in the county town. The two brothers brought in several good thugs from the county town and arrived at a restaurant with great enthusiasm. They ordered a large table of food and drinks and began to feast on them. This meal, everyone drank in a daze until after eight o'clock in the evening, when the alcohol was so strong that they finally settled the bill and left the restaurant. I spent 9.5 yuan on food and drink, which happened to cost half of the huge sum I received today. A few people continued to wander through the streets and alleys of the county town, playing around for nearly an hour, indulging themselves well for a while, and bidding farewell to their county friends with satisfaction. Only then did the Lin Gaoxian brothers return unsteadily. After crossing the Chajiang Bridge, it was already around 9.30 p.m. After a while, turning into the village path, the two brothers were overjoyed and started singing a little song. In their hearts, not to mention how happy they are. Brother, don't even mention that little guy Wang Chang is really good at fishing. I haven't seen him fail before. Lin Gaoxian was blown by the cold wind by the river and regained some clarity, sighing with some emotion. That's it. Lin Junxian shouted back, Brother, that little guy won't be damaged by you today, will he? What if he can't touch the fish in the future? In that way, our future losses will be significant. That's right, too. Lin Gaoxian touched his big head and said somewhat dejectedly, I had a great time playing today. I hit him a bit harder, didn't I really break him? It's okay if it's broken. Lin Junxian smiled, it's even better if Wang Chang dies and it's also good if he's stupid. He rolled his eyes and said with a wicked smile, in that case, I will help him raise his three younger sisters from now on. I have been craving those three watery little cabbage plants for a long time. As they spoke, the two of them walked past a huge tree by the roadside, emitting a strange burst of laughter and becoming increasingly proud. Whoosh! Whoosh! At this moment, Two fist-sized pebbles flew rapidly from behind the tree, carrying tremendous strength and hitting the spine of their brothers with impartiality and ruthlessness. Bang! Bang! That massive force not only instantly shattered their vertebrae, but also knocked down Lin Gaoxian and Lin Junxian to the ground. Ah! Two painful screams pierced through the heart, echoing incessantly as scheduled, leaving one heartbroken. The vertebrae are the central nervous system of the human body and one of the most crucial components of the body. Undoubtedly, the Lin Gaoxian brothers are now suffering from spinal fractures and complete paralysis, which is destined to make it impossible for them to take care of themselves in the future. Bedridden until death is the only outcome. At this moment, amidst the deafening screams, a figure silently left behind the big tree by the roadside, and soon disappeared without a trace. Not long after, the villagers who were startled by the screams nearby were all stunned by the situation at the scene. They only saw Lin Gaoxian and Lin Junxian brothers lying on the ground, 
unable to move their limbs, their whole bodies up and down, and only their heads still able to rotate. Unfortunately, under the intense pain, they fainted and quickly woke up in pain. But the scene was very mysterious, and no fighting or dispute was found. The Lin Gaoxian brothers seemed to have been hit by something inexplicable. On the nearby ground, apart from some small and large gravel and pebbles, there was no abnormal situation at all. I can't figure it out, but the Lin family is a big family in Jiangbei village, with thousands of relatives and relatives involved. For a moment, everyone called out to their friends and someone came to a hand-held tractor in the brigade, pulling Lin Gaoxian and his brothers towards the county hospital at a gallop. That night, some places in the 1st Brigade of Jiangbei village were bustling with noise until midnight. Brother, wake up. Early in the morning, Wang Chang, who had a good night's dream, was awakened by the shouting of the little girl Wan Yu. Come on. He sat up and lazily stretched his waist, blinking his eyelids a few times. It's been a long time since he slept so soundly. After washing up and having breakfast, it was already around 8 o'clock in the morning. At this moment, the expected village loudspeaker sounded. Attention, villagers. Attention, villagers. Today is the big day of our Jiangbei village, officially ending the big pot meal and distributing the land to households. Please go to the village committee of the 1st Brigade immediately. At 8.30, the land distribution will officially begin. Attention. Please go to Shagaping in front of the village committee immediately. The sound of the big horn echoed incessantly. Brother, let's hurry up. Big brother, hurry up. Brother, let's go together. Three little girls, with anxiety and excitement on their faces, kept shouting at Wang Chang. Last night, the three sisters heard Wang Chang's vision of the future. Now it is the critical moment, of course, they can't help being excited. After having hope, a person's mental state will be completely different. Let's go. Wang Chang smiled and said, leading three maids out of the courtyard. He also called the big yellow dog, closed the gate, and walked towards the village committee. Along the way, there are constantly gathering crowds. Quickly, the road became bustling, with smiles and unease on people's faces. In fact, the preparation work for distributing land to households was already completed a few days ago. Yesterday, even the boundary markers were already installed, and today I just went to the village committee to sign with my fingerprints. Of course, those already cultivated fields need to be numbered and drawn lots. But this draw has nothing to do with Wang Chang's family, just go and see the excitement. Under this major event, the fact that the Lin brothers were seriously injured and hospitalized yesterday seems insignificant. Anyway, the vast majority of villagers nowadays cannot recall it at all. Last night, there were many people going to the scene, it was a mess, so Wang Chang didn't have to worry at all, he would show even a hint of carelessness. Well, that's retribution. It has nothing to do with me. After more than 10 minutes, the influx of people from all sides converged into the vast shagaping area of the brigade headquarters. Looking around, it was filled with dark and bustling heads. The hot atmosphere was even more crowded than the market. Almost all the villagers, their whole family, have come. Amidst the eager and anxious waiting of everyone, a group of village committee officials stepped onto the temporary high platform, and the old village chief announced the start of the conference with a flushed face. After a thrilling speech, the first thing to do was draw lots. From beginning to end, the three little girls did not hear their siblings calling their names on the high platform, and they became a bit anxious. Brother. Wan Jun tugged at Wang Chang's arm with a small hand and said, isn't it true that our family has been excluded from the village? Dia, don't worry, just wait patiently. Seeing the calm demeanor of the elder brother, Wan Jun and the others finally calmed down. The lottery activity lasted for a full hour and a half, and villagers lined up one by one to press their fingerprints and sign. After a long time, even the results of the division of the mountain and collective land came out. Finally, 
the old village chief called out the names of Wang Chang and his four siblings. Under the watchful gaze of the crowd, the old village chief loudly announced that the piece of wasteland that Wang Chang's family lived in, which covered a total of 80 acres, and the entire Daju Mountain behind the wasteland belonged to Wang Chang's family. Everyone shouted in unison for the benevolence and righteousness of the village chief and for fairness in handling matters, making the old village chief and village committee cadres proud and waving their hands frequently. Wang Chang and his four siblings stepped forward and signed the three agreements one by one. There are three copies of this agreement, with the village committee and the head of each household keeping one copy each. The remaining copy will be taken back to the county's land bureau for sealing and preservation. At this moment it was already around January 30th, noon, and as the old village chief announced to the loudspeaker that the village's land distribution to households meeting had ended, everyone happily dispersed and left. The vast majority of villagers, disregarding their hunger, hurriedly walked towards the fields assigned to them. These fields allocated to oneself will be fate in the future. If you don't take a good look, your heart won't be at ease. It can be certain that even in late autumn, the crops on the ground have already been harvested and returned to the warehouse, leaving most of the ground with only a barren area. They will also cultivate them all this year. My own field and the collective field in the past are completely different things. The land of Wang Chang's family is quite convenient. Under the constant urging of three little girls, the fourth brother and sister quickly arrived at their own territory with their big yellow dog. At this moment, Wang Chang realized that it was probably yesterday afternoon when his own territory was separated by several boundary stakes and lime lines, forming a huge and connected area. Ha ha ha. This is the land for our family in the future. Wow. So spacious. Not only here, but also the Daju Mountain behind us belongs to our family. The three girls are so happy. They were shouting and running around in their own fields, almost going crazy. The new book requires the support of all book enthusiasts. Please give it some encouragement, thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Get some meat to eat at home you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 6 Get some meat to eat at home, do ya, you guys go back first. I'll go to the back mountain to take a look and also bring some game back. After the three little girls vented their joy and ran back to their side, Wang Chang said to Wan Jun, Today is a big day, we must eat meat to celebrate. Seeing Wan Jun looking at him with some concern, he immediately smiled and said, Don't worry, starting from today, our tea city has completely relaxed its policies. In the future, whether you eat meat or make big money, no one will take care of it. As long as you don't break the law, even if someone reports it, you're not afraid. He is well aware that in the next two years, tea cities will spring up like mushrooms after rain, with more and more households and individual businesses earning tens of thousands of yuan emerging. Moreover, in the future, the gap between rich and poor will become larger and larger, which will finally make you completely desperate and unable to roast. That. That's good. After listening to her brother's words, the tense expression on Wanjuan's small face eased. Brother, be careful when you go up the mountain. There are poisonous snakes and wild boars on the mountain. She paused for a moment and then reminded, I'll take my sister home and cook. Today, we'll have dry rice at home. You need to come back quickly to avoid the food getting cold. She was not worried at all about her elder brother going up the mountain and whether he could retrieve the game. But she was a bit worried, would her brother encounter danger when he went hunting in the mountains? This Daju mountain has been abandoned for several years. There are not only many bamboo rats and rabbits on the mountain, but also many other wild animals and birds. For the past three years, during festivals every year, Big Brother has quietly gone to the mountains to catch one or two wild rabbits or big bamboo rats and go home. However, in the past, one had to be careful not to be discovered by outsiders, so Big Brother tried not to go up the mountain to catch wild game, so as not to be reported and cause big trouble. Watching his three sisters bring their big yellow dog home, 
Wang Chang turned around and strode towards Daju Mountain. His home was at the foot of the mountain, so just a few minutes later, Wang Chang started climbing. Of course, before climbing, he first selected a few suitable pebbles to carry with him. After obtaining the golden finger, the hunting techniques also need to be changed. It's a good time to try the skill of beginner throwing mastery to see how effective it is in hunting. If nothing unexpected happens, this will be the main means of hunting for oneself in the future. Daju Mountain is not big or small, covering an area of 4 to 5 miles in length. Apart from nearly half of the rocky areas and unsuitable areas for cultivation, there are still nearly a thousand acres of land that can be utilized. Therefore, Wang Chiangtsai would say that it is appropriate to have one's own stool. If such a large territory were fully developed, there would be no worries about food and drink in the future. Zhushan can be called a mountain or a ridge. It is about eight to nine hundred meters high, with nearly half being stone and the other half being soil. The rocky areas are mostly located above the mountainside, while the mountainside and below are mostly less areas with good soil fertility. In addition, halfway up the mountain, there is a lake with an area of about 10 acres, and the water source is not lacking. Although this small lake is not very large, there is a spring hole that does not dry up all year round, and the lake water is always full. So, this mountain is very suitable for planting and breeding. A few years ago, Zhushan was also called upon by village officials to reclaim land, and many tea trees were planted on the mountain, which was very lively for a while. However, everyone is slacking off and not putting in enough effort to see any benefits, so it has been abandoned again. In recent years, Zhushan has become a truly untouched place, and a large number of bamboo trees that have been cut down have been massively propagated. From a distance, bamboo is full of lush greenery. The mountain wind blows, and the bamboo leaves fluctuate like waves of green waves, which are very beautiful. Behind Zhushan, there is a vast mountain stretching nearly a hundred miles away. There is a lot of danger inside, with countless birds and animals. Apart from experienced hunters, few people enter, making it a primitive area. His purpose for going up the mountain this time is to hunt bamboo rats or wild rabbits, and the goal is very clear. Therefore, Wang Chang climbed a hundred-meter mountain road and headed towards a lush bamboo forest. For bamboo forests, the biggest harm is termites and bamboo rats. Among them, bamboo rats are particularly prominent. Bamboo rats like to gnaw on the roots of bamboo, and bamboo shoots are their favorite. In the season without bamboo shoots, the roots of bamboo become their main source of food, which causes great damage to the bamboo forest and can result in widespread death. Therefore, in order to develop this bamboo mountain, the primary task is to eliminate the bamboo rats that are perched on the mountain. Otherwise, if a large area of bamboo forest dies and other trees are not replanted in a timely manner, the soil erosion on the mountain will become increasingly severe, and the soil quality will also deteriorate, with unimaginable consequences. Wang Chang knows that there are a lot of bamboo rats on the bamboo mountain now, at least a thousand. This must be properly cleaned up. After all, this great mountain range is already my own. As soon as he arrived in this bamboo forest, Wang Chang saw two black shadows startled by himself. With a swoosh, he was about to flee towards the depths of the bamboo forest. Bang! Bang! Wang Chang's move was almost instinctive, spinning faster than his own thinking. Between the lightning and flint, with both hands swinging together, two egg-sized pebbles flew out like lightning, accurately bombarding the two black and yellow figures. Squeak. Just as two screams sounded, there was an instant silence. Sure enough. The skill I have acquired is truly within ten meters. I can hit wherever I go and hit every shot I get. Wan Chang happily muttered to himself, sighed for a moment, walked forward, and only saw two large bamboo rats lying on the ground, weighing about ten pounds. What a fat guy. Just a few months without going up the mountain, he never expected that the bamboo rats on this mountain had grown so big. 
On the last time he climbed the mountain a few months ago, he put in a lot of effort and caught two bamboo rats, weighing only six or seven pounds. It can be imagined that these guys have been living so well on the mountain recently. The bamboo rodents here in Tea City are basically red-cheeked bamboo rodents, and the largest can grow up to about 15 or 16 pounds. This should be one of the largest bamboo rat breeds in the world. Dead. Wong Chang picked up two big bamboo rats one by one and found that they were already dead and perky. Under the strong bombardment of pebbles, their heads were probably shattered. On the surface, there were no visible scars, but for a moment, the big bamboo rat's head was already bleeding from its seven orifices. Until now, Wang Chang realized how terrifying the killing power of the so dot called beginner throwing mastery he had obtained was. The basic skill is just so powerful. If we upgrade it to an intermediate level, then. His heart became increasingly joyful, and his golden finger was not only good, but also very strong. Subsequently, Wang Chang pulled off a nearby mountain vine and tied the thighs of two bamboo rats, holding them in one hand and a pebble in the other, continuing to delve deeper. He is planning to hunt a few more and sell them in the county town tomorrow to buy some agricultural tools and daily necessities. As for large dot scale planting and breeding, we will have to wait until next spring. This winter, we will first improve the water conservancy facilities. To do a good job, one must first sharpen their tools. Wang Chang still understands this principle. Now, his physical fitness has skyrocketed, and it is estimated that he will become more and more powerful in the future. So, even if the main labor force at home is only himself, he still has confidence in doing well. It has to be said that there are really many big bamboo rats on this bamboo mountain now. Just over ten minutes later, Wang Chang harvested seven or eight. Enough, no matter how much, it won't be easy to take down the mountain. He smiled contentedly, picked up the heavy prey, and turned down the mountain. Due to seasonal reasons, he did not see wild rabbits and venomous snakes, which is also related to his failure to truly penetrate the mountains. About twenty minutes later, Wang Chang returned to the entrance of his small courtyard. As expected, the three little girls waited anxiously in front of the door with their big yellow dog as usual. Brother. Wow. So many big mice. I have meat to eat today. For a moment, the entrance of the small courtyard was filled with joy. End of this chapter. Chapter 7. One object descending one object you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 7. One object descending one object after lunch, Wang Chang came to the small courtyard and skillfully handled a large bamboo rat. He put it into a cauldron, added water, and then added an appropriate amount of ginger and chili peppers. He cooked it over low heat. Do ya, remember, just boil it for about half an hour. He explained, when I come back, I will take out the meat and stir fry it. It will taste better that way. Now he knows many cooking methods in later generations. Although the conditions at home are very poor now, he will no longer simply cook this pure natural delicacy as before. From now on, the quality of life for oneself needs to be rapidly improved, whether it is clothing, food, housing, or transportation. The way to obtain merit points now is too childish. Wang Chang speculates that this is probably a beginner's benefit for Golden Finger. In the near future, there will inevitably be a limitation that it is basically impossible to easily obtain merit points. Wang Chang thought for a long time about why catching big fish and releasing small ones would earn merit points, before realizing the huge harm of fishing with all one's might. From the late 1970s to the late 1980s, especially in coastal areas, people began to fish recklessly, catching all kinds of fish, big and small, using various methods. The fishing industry went from peak to rapid decline, but it only took less than a decade. Then, there is no more. In coastal areas and most of rivers and lakes, the number of wild fish has plummeted by more than 90%, and countless once brilliant fishing villages have become barren villages. 
The most important thing is that after the reform and opening up, domestic industrialization began to develop rapidly. Industrial waste gas and sewage treatment were difficult to control, and coupled with the aftermath of uncontrolled fishing, countless fish species became extinct, accompanied by various ecological crises and imbalances, causing harm to future generations. This is the endless calamity brought by fishing with all one's might. Listening to this idiom is not very good, in fact, the huge harm caused by uncontrolled fishing cannot be compensated for in the future. So, Wang Chang is also relieved about the judgment of merit values by the golden finger. Since that's the case, he won't miss the opportunity to easily gain merit points, accumulating a little makes a lot. Besides, when he goes to the county town tomorrow, he also wants to get some valuable big fish to sell. That way, we can earn more money and quickly improve and upgrade our family's clothing, food, housing, and transportation, leading a comfortable life. In fact, if it weren't for time constraints, his family would have to quickly take care of the newly allocated fields. He also wanted to go deep into the back mountain to hunt wild boars and sell them for money. A two to three hundred pound adult wild boar can be sold in the city for three to four hundred yuan. According to his plan, building a large villa now costs only three to four thousand yuan, and hunting around ten wild boars is enough. But in Wang Chang's plan, the top priority now is not to build a large villa, but to quickly enclose his own territory. In the merged memories of later generations, several villagers in the village had a considerable dispute with their own families, which was still a continuous one. So, Wang Chang, who has a clear understanding, has no intention of giving them any opportunities. The top priority is to quickly enclose the wasteland that belongs to oneself. Only in this way can we cut off those ill-intentioned villagers from maliciously causing trouble. After a moment, Wang Chang walked out of the house with a large wooden bucket and walked towards the bank of the Chajiang River. There are not many other things in his family, but there is no shortage of wooden and bamboo daily necessities. His father is not only an educated youth, but also a skilled carpenter. During his lifetime, he created many things. The bamboo mat, grass mat, pillow, wooden bucket, wooden basin, etc. at home are all in stock and of excellent quality. Wang Chang has been learning carpentry from his father since he was young, and his talent is good. Now, he has a trend of surpassing others. Tomorrow I'm going to the county town to sell fish. If I want to sell at a good price, I have to be a lively big fish. I used to be afraid to show off in the market because I was afraid the villagers would be jealous and cause trouble. From now on, there is no need to worry about these things. Plus, with his golden finger, he is not afraid of others playing tricks. So, this is his first time using a large wooden bucket to go to the riverbank to load fish, no longer like before, just casually filling one or two fish in a fish basket. Arriving at the riverbank, Wang Chang first went to take out a total of three large fish cages he had placed in the river, threw the big fish into a wooden bucket, and released the small fish one by one. While harvesting more than ten large fish of various sizes, I unexpectedly gained three points of merit. How was the merit value calculated? Among these three large fish cages, some have many small fish, while others are few. However, every time they are released, they earn a little merit value. This puzzled Wang Chang a bit. Can we say that the calculation is based on the number of times one releases small fish, not on the quantity? Forget it, don't think about it if you can't figure it out, just let it go naturally. He won't delve into the details, it's already a surprise to reap the rewards of his daily merits. In a few days, you will be able to upgrade your acquired skills for the first time. There are too many things he needs to do now, just going back and forth to the river every day, spending nearly an hour collecting and releasing three large fish cages. Therefore, it is not realistic to increase the number of large fish cages in the current situation. There is always a priority, and it is impossible for him to miss out on the important task of this winter's land reclamation in order to gain more merit. There is no way, as we have been allocated a lot of land, mountains, and forests, we will have to pay more public grain funds starting next year. 
that's a lot of money, and it's absolutely not allowed to be delayed. Otherwise, no one can afford the consequences. Fortunately, what he received from his family were all wasteland and barren mountains, not fertile land. He didn't need to use dry rice to discount public grain payments. Otherwise, he would be so anxious that he would be smoking and anxious. So, nowadays, having three points of merit every day is enough, and don't expect too much in the short term. Moreover, if you make too much noise yourself, it will definitely cause envy from other villagers and may not be beautiful. Just keep the status quo. Returning three large fish cages to different sections of the Chajiang River and concealing their traces, Wang Chang frowned slightly as he looked at the dozen or so large fish weighing three to five pounds in the large wooden barrel. These big fish are not valuable categories. The most expensive ones won't exceed 35.1 pounds, while the cheapest ones only weigh 1.51 pounds, far less than the value of big bamboo rats. The bamboo rat is very popular among wealthy people in the tea city, and its price is almost similar to that of the big squid, which is much more valuable than ordinary fish. In this comparison, to quickly accumulate funds, one still needs to go hunting in the mountains. Hey! Forget it! He sighed and pondered, in a short period of time, just come to the riverbank once a day to release small fish. When you come back to the city tomorrow, Focus your energy on enclosure and land reclamation. There are too many things, come on the same thing, it's not urgent. Anyway, in this life and this life, I don't want to be the world's richest person or anything like that. Living like that would be too tiring, constantly scheming and worrying, without any safety guarantees. Having become accustomed to various tricks and dark scenes in later generations, Wang Chang has a clear understanding and plan for his future. With a mature mind, he quickly came to his senses and put aside those distractions, quickly restoring his calm and composed mindset. These big fish won't be sold in the city tomorrow, it's better to keep them for your own consumption. Even the few big bamboo rats at home can be sold for 60 or 70 yuan, which is enough to buy some agricultural tools and daily necessities for oneself. Take your time, it's not urgent. I won't go fishing in the river today. It's better to go home first, explore the fields, and make some long dot term plans. It took more than 10 minutes for Wang Chang to return home with a large wooden bucket filled with big fish, and at the same time, he poured the big fish from the bucket into the small pond in the yard. Watching them bouncing around, it was obvious that there was not much problem with feeding them. Big brother, I caught so many big fish again today. There are more than 10 of them. They are still alive. Two twin girls, hearing the commotion outside, quickly ran out of the kitchen and saw their brother coming back, jumping and shouting non dot stop. You two little ones, be careful not to fall into the pond. Wang Chang quickly grabbed the little girl squatting by the pond watching the fish, one hand at a time, and scolded. Hee hee. Not afraid. The two of us can swim. We swam pretty well. The two twin lorry, completely indifferent, smiled and said. Indeed, in order to strengthen the survival ability of his three sisters, Wang Chang has been fishing by the river for the past three summers. He always takes them with him and started teaching the three girls how to swim as much as possible three years ago. They are not stupid, their learning ability is good, and they quickly learned how to swim. Although they are not very old now, it is not a problem for them to easily swim across the Chajiang River. The section of the Chajiang River that flows through the county town is relatively wide, about twice the width of other sections of the river. However, the water flow is relatively gentle. Hey! You guys! Wang Chang looked at his two mischievous sisters and also felt a headache. Alright. At this moment, Wan Jun quickly walked out of the kitchen and shouted to her two sisters, Xiaoyu, Xiaoling, your skin is itching, isn't it? If you don't listen anymore, there's no meat to eat tonight. Wan Jun still had a solution and caught the dead end of two greedy little girls in one go. Scared, the two of them quickly ran back to the kitchen and squatted in front of the earthen stove, 
honestly cooking while smelling the meat aroma coming from the cauldron and occasionally swallowing saliva. Hee hee. Wang Chang looked amused. It is indeed a matter of descending one thing. Wan Jun is the nemesis of the two sisters, holding them tightly. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Sisters Doubts You Are Listening at NovelFull.Audio Chapter 8 Sisters Doubts, Damn It Wan Jun remembered something and quickly entered the kitchen, taking the large cauldron from the heated stove to the nearby cold stove. It turned out that she had forgotten Wang Chang's instructions to cook bamboo wrap meat for only half an hour. This is the first time she has made a mistake in the past three years, and of course, she is very regretful. From boiling bamboo rat meat to now, where has it only taken half an hour? It's almost an hour. She hurriedly opened the lid of the pot, brought a pair of bamboo chopsticks, and picked up a piece of bamboo rat meat, only to find that it was not rotten, moderately soft and hard, just right. Just as he was puzzled, Wang Chang walked in and saw the situation clearly. He said, I made a mistake in my estimation. The bamboo rat meat probably needs to be cooked for a little longer. Originally, he instructed him to cook for half an hour, but he didn't think that the bamboo rats in later generations were all farmed bamboo rats, and the meat quality was significantly inferior to the wild bamboo rats in their original ecology. In the past three years, he and Wan Jun have cooked wild bamboo rat meat many times, but like fish soup, they cooked it for about two hours until the bamboo rat meat became tender before eating. So, lack of experience has led to the current situation. This can also be considered crooked. Seeing her mistake, although it did not cause any negative consequences, Wan Jun breathed a sigh of relief and also learned a lesson. She placed another large pot filled with cold water on the burning stove and said, I'll boil water first to give Xiaoyu and Xiaoling a bath, so as not to waste firewood. The time for dinner is far from here, so she, who is good at managing the house, naturally needs to be meticulous in her budget. Brother, we don't have much firewood and hay at home. We need to go to the mountains to get back more in the next few days to avoid encountering the rainy season, which will be difficult. Wang Jun said to Wang Chang again. Not enough firewood. Wang Chang nodded and thought for a moment before saying, there's no need to worry about this. Tomorrow morning, I will go to the city to sell the remaining seven big bamboo rats and buy some new agricultural tools and daily necessities. He said about his arrangements, starting from tomorrow afternoon, our family will plan and open up the wasteland we have allocated, and we will receive a large amount of firewood. So this year, we don't have to go to the mountains to chop firewood at all. We can open up land and pick up firewood, killing two birds with one stone. That's good. Wan Jun was relieved and immediately thought of something, Brother, are you going to the city tomorrow? Yeah. What's wrong? Wang Chang is a bit strange. Before, this sensible sister wouldn't ask such a question. So. Why don't you take me to the city this time? Her pretty face turned slightly red, and when she saw Wang Chang puzzled, she said shyly, I. I've been feeling a bit unwell these past few days and need to go to the city to buy some personal belongings for my daughter's house. Ah. Wang Chang let out a slightly awkward soft shout. Originally, my cheap little sister has grown up. With rich experience in later generations, he didn't even know that Wan Jun, who was almost 13 years old, was coming to the moon for the first time. Okay. Definitely okay. To cover up the embarrassment on both sides, Wang Chang said solemnly to the younger sister adopted by Wan Jun's parents, I was just thinking of telling you three girls to come to the city tomorrow and take a look together. Moreover, it is estimated that it will still snow this winter. He quickly changed the topic and said, this time in the city, I want to give our family a for a set of winter clothes each. Otherwise, it will be difficult to endure this winter. Seeing Wan Jun's face brightening, he immediately looked a bit worried and said, you may not even know that the big bamboo rat can be sold for at least one yuan per kilogram in the city. There's no problem selling these seven big bamboo rats left at home for 60 or 70 yuan. 
The big bamboo rat, which was only hunted this afternoon, has already been quite cold in late autumn this year. It will be taken to the farmer's market tomorrow morning to sell, and it will not smell or spoil, nor will it affect the sale. In the future, when I go to catch the big bamboo rats, I will knock them unconscious and tie their legs with a thin rope to take them home, which will be more convenient to sell. With a big wave of his hand, he confidently said to the girl Wan Jun, when we sell the big bamboo rat tomorrow, we will have money. Daya, feel free to buy whatever you want tomorrow. Wang Chang must relieve her worries before she becomes accustomed to frugality and unwilling to spend money. Is the bamboo rat so valuable? 60 or 70 yuan. That's too much, isn't it? Oh my goodness. With so much money, how much can we buy back tomorrow? Not only Wan Jun, but also the twin girls beside her were shocked. The three of them never imagined that the freshly cooked big bamboo rat in front of them would be so valuable in the city. They who haven't been to the city for a long time, if Wang Chang doesn't say anything today, they will still be in the dark. In the past three years, for safety reasons, none of the three girls have ever been to the county town, nor have they gone to the village to find people to play with. They have not had much contact with the outside world and have no concept of prices. But they all know that nowadays, the negotiated price of rice is less than 30 cents per kilogram. Selling two or three big bamboo rats can provide their own family with a month's worth of dry food. Well, that's just how valuable it is. Wang Chang nodded and said, I didn't dare to tell you before because I was afraid that you three girls wouldn't know the importance and would become greedy and do wrong things. Before today, in our county of Chaqing, it was not possible to make a lot of money by making loud noises, and it was highly likely that someone would report it. From now on, it will be very different. Making money is the right way for everyone, and the trend is like this. As long as you don't break the law, do business, hunt, farm, and sell grain, no matter how you make money. It can be said that Wang Chang is definitely at the forefront of understanding the future trend, to be honest. That would be great. Brother, in the future, you don't have to sneak into the city to sell fish and exchange money to buy rice anymore. Aha, uh -huh, what my brother said must be right. As long as we don't get bullied in the future. The three little girls were filled with joy and joy. All right, I'll go out and take a look at the land that my family just allocated, so I can have a clear idea and make preliminary plans. Wang Chang was ready to take matters seriously and instructed his three sisters, just stay at home. When we come back from the city tomorrow, we can go out together to open up land and work together. After speaking, he left the kitchen and walked straight out of the courtyard, starting to wander around on his own 80-acre wasteland. Why would the village allocate so much land to their own family? Wang Chang is well aware. This is not just because the old village chief and the village committee, in order to show fairness, are so generous. Mainly because this wasteland adjacent to Daju Mountain has a high terrain, making it extremely difficult to irrigate with water. In addition, there are many scattered stones of different sizes in the land, making it difficult to cultivate good farmland. Jiangbei village has a lot of fields and wasteland, so the old village chief and the village committee, who were determined to save face, took advantage of the situation and allocated this wasteland to Wang Chang's family. Daju Mountain, on the other hand, has not received much attention from everyone and has not seen any benefits. In order to compensate Wang Chang's family, it was decided to share it with them to show fairness. In fact, it's the same. If Wang Chang didn't get the chance encounter and kept going step by step, there is no doubt that he would have lived his life like a passerby's armor, just like in his memory of the next 40 years. But now that he has obtained the golden finger and memories of the future, Wang Chang knows that he has embarked on a completely different path from his memory. For his future life, he is full of confidence, and happy and prosperous days are within reach. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Rural Villagers Entering the City You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9 Rural Villagers Entering the City Unconsciously, It Was Already Late After wandering around for so long, 
Wang Chang's plan for this wasteland, combined with many insights from later generations, is already clear in his mind. This wasteland, as long as it is cultivated and leveled, along with the Daju Mountain behind it, can be built into a huge ecological farm, allowing myself and my sister to live a comfortable and good life. It's just that before we finish building this big farm, we need to put in a lot of effort ourselves. But this is also temporary. He knew that by next summer, several people in the county's construction company would be suspended from work and come out to form a private construction team. Those guys, without exception, have all become the most famous big bag foreman in Chaching County in the future. Therefore, as long as you save enough money before next summer, the construction of the big farm can be easily and quickly done by hiring a private construction team in the city. Well, that's the decision. He clenched his fist and said, after enclosing his own wasteland, while reclaiming land, he took time to go to the mountains to hunt wild boars and exchange money. To quickly save enough money, for the current Wang Chang, hunting wild boars in the mountains is undoubtedly a shortcut. Nowadays, in the vast mountains surrounding the Tea City, wild boars are almost rampant and abundant. I want to save more than 10,000 yuan when next summer arrives. Next year, not only will I build the big farm, but also the big villa at home. Not waiting for 10,000 years, seize the day and night. He never thought of such a difficult life now. Thoroughly clarifying his thoughts, Wang Chang's spirit was uplifted and he no longer stayed in the field. He quickly returned home. Wang Jun has roughly finished the dinner and is waiting for him to play with the stir-fried bamboo rat meat. Wang Chang rolled up his sleeves and started drying. After about 10 minutes, a large pot of fragrant stir-fried bamboo rat meat was cooked. The strong aroma filled the entire kitchen, and the three little girls sitting at the table were all drooling, eagerly looking at the large pot of bamboo rat meat. Let's eat. As Wang Chang sat down at the dinner table and gave a command, the four siblings buried their heads in eating and drinking. Wow! Brother, this stir-fried bamboo rat meat is so delicious. I'll have a bamboo rat leg first. Woo-woo! Is it so fragrant? Brother, hurry up and eat too. For a moment, all four siblings turned into gluttons and enjoyed their food. Today is also considered Chinese New Year, with the big yellow dog burying its head and gnawing on bones, its big tail wagging like a windmill. Nearly half an hour had passed, and the fish soup, wild vegetables, along with a large pot of bamboo and mouse meat and half a pot of white rice, were eaten to the bone by the four siblings. Ah! Uh. The group of people who had eaten and drunk enough, feeling a bit overwhelmed, lazily lay on the large bamboo chairs in the hall, touching their swollen stomachs and feeling satisfied. Everyone chatted and talked nonsense for a while, and Wan Jun took his two sisters to clean up the kitchen. Wan Chan went to fetch water and take a shower. The three younger sisters had already finished bathing in the afternoon. This habit has been around for three years. The reason goes without saying, the current lamp oil is too expensive, and it is dark at night, making it inconvenient to take a shower. Because we were going to the city tomorrow, everyone lit oil lamps and just sat in the courtyard for a while before heading back to their rooms and going to bed early to rest. The next morning, just as the sky was brightening, Wang Chang and his family walked out the door together. Asai, you need to take good care of our home. Asai, remember, be obedient. When we come back, we'll make you something delicious. Wan Yu and Wan Ling, the two maids, repeatedly warned the big yellow dog before leaving the house with peace of mind. Watching her brother lock the door, the three little girls walked excitedly side by side in front, bouncing non dot stop all the way. Wan Chang carried a large basket with seven big bamboo rats inside. Above the basket, he was covered with thick weeds. This is very necessary. The saying that wealth is not revealed will never go out of style. Moreover, there are countless villagers in Jiangbei village who harbor malicious intentions towards their family. Although Wang Chang has eliminated two major calamities, Lin Gaoxian and Lin Junxian, in the vast Jiangbei village, 
there are still no less than 180 such people. Even if it has just undergone a major social security rectification this year, it is impossible to eradicate the evil. Before the major rectification began, some of the people who heard the rumors had long disappeared without a trace. The first team of Jiangbei village has a large territory, and it took the four siblings half an hour to walk from the end of the village to the head of the village, and then to the main road. And this is already within the county town area. Jiangbei village was originally a super large village adjacent to the county seat, and in the future, the vast majority of the land will be assigned to the county seat area. Thirty years later, the high dot speed railway in Chaqing will be opened, and the entire Jiangbei village will be covered by the urban area of the county. At that time, many villagers became relocated households and became wealthy overnight. Of course, there are quite a few villagers who are addicted to gambling and lose everything within a few days after receiving a large amount of demolition funds. On the main road, a few dozen meters ahead is the famous Chajiang Bridge. This large stone bridge was built about 300 years ago, and its quality is extremely good. In the next 40 years, it will still be the strongest and most sturdy bridge in several nearby county towns, and none of the newly built bridges can match it. This large stone arch bridge, meticulously crafted by craftsmen, has exquisite stone carvings on the railings. At both ends of the bridge, there are a pair of large stone lions on both sides, which look lifelike and very majestic. The bridge deck is also very wide, with nearly 20 meters and a length of nearly one mile. Even 40 years later, it can still adapt to the development of the times. After passing the clean and flat bridge, the bus station is opposite. At the current bus station, there are only three or four medium dot-sized buses inside, which look very shabby. Wang Chang knows that next summer, there will be two very brave guys in the tea city. They will raise funds from all sides, add savings, and use their own house as collateral to take out a loan. They will try their best to buy a large bus and engage in private passenger transportation. Two or three years later, the two of them had grown up and became the most famous tycoons in the tea city at that time. These two people, one named Lu Wei and the other named Wang Chang, do not know his real name because he is too wealthy. Everyone calls him foreigner. However, these two guys ignored their son's education and encountered strange similarities. In the 1990s, their son was too poor at home, and the wealth they earned turned into nothing, becoming a thing of the past. From the bus station south to Cross Street, it is the only main street in the small county town of Chaqing at this time, about three miles long. The farmer's market is near Cross Street, and if you want to sell the big bamboo rat at a good price, you have to go to the farmer's market. That is the only market in the tea city today. Wang Chang and his siblings walked along the main street with enthusiasm. Everything in the county town is very novel for the three little girls. They felt that even their own eyes were not enough, and they were very interested in seeing everything. Walking and stopping, occasionally shouting and screaming, their small faces turning red and excited. It's not yet seven o'clock in the morning, and there aren't many pedestrians on the street. It's sparse and looks very dull. Even on both sides of the main street, houses are not fully built, mostly brick and tile houses. Some sections of the road are still overgrown with weeds and very dilapidated. Wang Chang didn't even want to go and see more, just like an extraordinary expert, calmly scanning it with a forward dot looking gaze. After a moment, he focused his attention on the three little girls bouncing up and down in front, to avoid any accidents for them. On the main roads nowadays, there are few motor vehicles, but there are many bicycles that do not follow traffic rules and run in the opposite direction. Therefore, the current security issues cannot be underestimated, and he needs to pay more attention. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Sold out in one go you are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 10 Sold out in one go, be careful. Wang Chang and his siblings walked to the section of the Water and Electricity Bureau where there was a crossroads. A bicycle rushed out from one side with a whoosh sound, causing him to quickly jump forward and block the three little girls behind him. 
There's no way, my younger sister has three, and he only has two hands, so he can't control it at all, so that's all. The rider of that bicycle also panicked and crashed straight into Wang Chan. Hey! Wang Chan's eyes were sharp and his hands were fast. At the moment when both sides were about to collide, he exhaled and spoke out, his hands accurately extended, gripping the front of the bicycle and forcefully stopping the oncoming force. Ah! Brother! Ah! Whether it was the three sisters or the cyclist, they were all frightened and screamed one by one. It's so close. A cold sweat broke out on Wang Chong's forehead. Almost got three little girls hit, and the consequences fortunately, as a mature and steady person, he devoted most of his energy to the three little girls along the way. Fortunately, my current physical fitness has skyrocketed, allowing me to narrowly avoid danger. It seems that in the future, everything about oneself cannot be judged by future experiences. The so dot called butterfly flapping its wings will cause a storm, and that's all. In the fused memory, I didn't have a golden finger because I was injured by Lin Gao's Yen the day before yesterday and didn't enter the city today, nor did I encounter such sudden danger. So, in the future, my life will be completely changed, a brand new and completely different one. He suddenly woke up in his heart and put away his last hasty thought. How do you ride a bike, you person? Even if he managed to avoid a disaster, Wang Chang came back to his senses and was instantly furious. He can't help but be angry. If it weren't for being a cheater, his three younger sisters would definitely have been hit today, which would be a result he simply couldn't accept. He has always protected the three little girls very well, and today he almost fell short. It's not a big deal to be angry. Sorry. The cyclist was a young woman in her twenties. Her face turned pale and she was still in a state of shock. I just learned how to ride a bike, and when I saw a lot of people, I felt a bit nervous, so. Don't come onto the main road if you're not proficient. Wang Chang saw the other party's attitude of admitting their mistake very well and slightly calmed down. You're going to kill someone like this. Do you know? Hey. We're unlucky today. Wang Chang looked at the panicked opponent and was speechless about this type of road killer. Forget it, I don't want to say anything anymore, he said he let go of the front of his bicycle and turned to his three sisters, saying, you know how dangerous it is on the street, don't you? In the future, when going on the street, you must listen to all directions, observe all directions, and be careful. He must educate these three little girls to avoid any accidents in the future, come to my side. Don't walk aimlessly in the future. Oh, I got it. Me too. I will pay attention to it in the future. The three little girls who were frightened came to their senses and were all whispering their mistakes. Let's go. Be careful when walking in the future. Ignoring the street killer, the family moved forward again and he protected his three sisters on the side of the building to prevent similar situations from happening again. There are no sidewalks in the county town now, and the streets are also less roads. Dust is flying, making him extremely helpless. After the recent danger, the three little girls walked cautiously by their brother's side, holding hands and never daring to jump around again. A few more minutes have passed, and it's not far from Cross Street. After a while, turn left along Cross Street and walk less than a hundred meters to reach the farmer's market. Wow! There are so many people here. On both sides of this street, everything is for sale. Brother, it's so lively here. The three little girls are really young. When they saw the crowds and various strange things in the farmer's market, they regained their lively and lovely nature one by one, and kept chattering incessantly. There's a vacant seat over there, come with me. Wang Chang had sharp eyes and quickly discovered a suitable location for setting up a stall on the roadside. There is currently no concept of occupying roads for business operations. Everyone sets up stalls on the roadside, and there are not many business people renting storefronts. Even business owners who rent storefronts are filled with their own goods in front of their doors. The four siblings quickly arrived at the stall they were interested in. 
Wang Chang untied the large basket on his back, took out the weeds covered on it, and spread them on the ground. Then, he spread out seven big bamboo rats one by one. Such a large bamboo rat quickly caught people's attention, and in no time, the stall was surrounded by a crowd. These big bamboo rats are so fat. The fur is very shiny and there is no odor. However, bamboo rats are not cheap. Everyone is discussing, but no one has made up their mind to buy yet. Wang Chang is not in a hurry, but he knows that there are still many wealthy people in the current county town. Many officials at all levels who hold iron rice bowls will not miss this kind of wild game. After a while, the onlookers came and went, and a middle-aged woman who looked very wealthy came from a distance. Her eyes lit up and she quickly walked to the front of the stall. Little brother, how do you sell this bamboo rat? She first carefully looked at these big bamboo rats, picked up one and sniffed it, but did not smell any spoiled meat. She immediately spoke up. One yuan, five and one jean. Wang Chang was not very clear about the current price, so he offered what he thought was a high price. One five yuan. The woman frowned and said, the price is quite reasonable. Okay, I'm from the County Post and Telecommunications Bureau. I've taken all these big bamboo rats, but I can't take so many. Can you help me deliver them over? She continued, of course, let's weigh and settle the bill first. You don't have to worry about encountering a scammer. Wang Chang has golden fingers, and his current military strength is not bad. Of course, he is not worried about being deceived. Upon hearing this, he nodded and said, Okay, anyway, the post office is not far, it's less than a mile away. He never expected this woman to be so bold. Judging from her appearance, most of these big bamboo rats should have been bought for others. The Postal Bureau and Supply and Marketing Cooperative are currently the wealthiest departments in T-City, with excellent economic benefits, high salaries, and undeniable welfare benefits. No wonder this woman is so wealthy and willing to eat. Wan Jun and the three little girls were stunned on the side, their mouths wide open. They never imagined that the big bamboo rat, which was estimated to sell for one yuan per kilogram, would actually sell for one yuan, five and one kilogram. The people in the county town are so wealthy. Buy all your big bamboo rats in one go. The three little girls were both surprised and happy in their hearts, looking silly and amusing at first glance. Cluck. This haughty woman, seeing the three little girls, couldn't help but smile and burst out laughing. Wan Chang quickly put the bamboo rat into the big basket, carried it on his back, and with three nervous sisters, followed the woman to a nearby small shop with a large scale. Boss, weigh the things and give you two cents on the scale. The woman shouted casually and asked Wang Chang to place the bamboo rats one by one on the big scale. 73 pounds, 109.5 yuan. Here's 100 and 100 and 100. You don't need to change. After weighing, she threw two cents to the shop owner, took out her wallet, and counted eleven great unity cards for Wang Chang. Wang Chang dared not be careless and carefully examined each one. There is a lot of fake money now, so he naturally needs to check it again. However, his movements were swift and he checked the money in less than a minute. Later, he picked up seven big bamboo rats one by one and carried them back to the big basket. He then said to the woman, Auntie, let's go. In less than ten minutes, Wang Chang and his sister followed the woman into the courtyard behind the post office building. This is the first concrete building in the county town of Chacheng, with six floors high, which is still very shocking for the rural people of this era. At least Wang Chang's three younger sisters were staring left and right in amazement. Little brother, just put the things on the ground and I will send someone to pick them up. The woman spoke to Wang Chang and called out to friends downstairs. Wang Chang was not annoying either. He quickly took out the big bamboo rat and placed it on the cement floor, called his three sisters, and then left. Leaving the building and onto the street, the three little girls couldn't hold back anymore, cheering softly one by one. We have money. 
110 yuan. How much can I buy? Brother, should we go buy clothes first or buy daily necessities first? They had never seen so much money before and were already overjoyed. End of this chapter.